It all began under the radiant sun, but gradually transitioned into a shady, unsettling scene. However, I could still feel the presence of day. Whenever my dreams shift from daylight to darkness, it suggests that something demonic is likely to happen. As the dream progressed, there was a significant shift in the nation's mindset. People began rejecting grocery stores and fast food, awakening to the harmful reality of their diets. Instead, they turned to the land, exchanging produce and fostering a sense of community. Americans faced the harsh truth that their food was harming them, prompting them to reclaim the land resources and unite in a shared mission. Amidst these changes, Bill Gates, a powerful figure who owns a lot of the land and American farm, began to buy even more land, feeling threatened when he heard the so-called African Americans were buying land. Determined to keep his power, he strengthened his own properties with metal fences showing that he wanted to control all the land and its riches. But Bill Gates wasn't alone in his quest for control. He enlisted Oprah's help to apply influence over the black community. Oprah Winfrey and her two adopted white daughters, who went everywhere with her, summoned the black A-list stars of the world, commanding them to will their influence in a sinister direction. She demanded that they persuade Black people to abandon their path of self-sufficiency, urging them to stir clear of tilting the ground as Yah intended, and instead rely on the government assistance. This was a stark departure from the bargaining movement towards self-reliance and prosperity through the agriculture. Despite their misgivings, the stars found themselves trapped in a web of obligations, bound by oaths they have taken to safeguard their own prosperity and the well-being of their families. They felt compelled to obey Oprah's decree. The alternative was unthinkable. Facing the wrath of both Oprah and potential consequences for their loved ones, in a heartbreaking decision, the stars chose to prioritize their own comfort and securities over the empowerment of their community. They reluctantly became instruments of oppression, their voices stirring black Americans away from the path of self-determination and towards dependence on external forces. As they carry out Oprah's order and a sense of guilt gnawed at their conscience, they knew that they were contributing to the erosion of their community, but they felt powerless to defy the force that held them captive. In the end, their alliance to self-perspiration outweighed their desires to uplift their people. Plus, under Oprah's sway, the stars reluctantly became enforcers of compliancy perpetuating a cycle of dependency that shuffled the potential of generations to come. As Oprah kept doing these bad things, she became scarier. She jumped onto a tall fence and told everyone what to do. Her eyes looked mean and she made bad things happen to people who didn't agree with her. Many famous people lost their acting careers because they didn't follow Oprah's demands. One particular famous man who stood out from the crowd of stars was Idris Elba. She assigned him to cheat on his wife if he wanted a particular job. She said to Idris, if you want the acting gig, you must get into a relationship with this white woman, whom I did not recognize in the dream. Idris was married and very much in love with his wife, but his fear of Oprah was greater. He told Oprah yes, he would get into a side relationship with this woman. Then Oprah said, okay, but you must never tell your wife. As he dated this mistress woman, he took public pictures with her, telling his wife that the time and pictures taken with this woman were all for work. This act of cheating on his wife hurt his heart, 
but he knew what he signed up for. In the dream, I knew that the woman had a side conversation with Oprah concerning Idris, stating she wanted Oprah to introduce her to him and let him know that if he wanted the job, he had to be in a secret relationship with her. Oprah and Florence wasn't confined by physical barriers. She willed a power that reached deep into the hearts and minds of others. A buried man, torn between his loyalty and ambition, found himself ensnared in the web of manipulation, burdened by the weight of portrayal. Meanwhile, her two young white daughters gleefully participated in their mother's destructive schemes. Their laughter echoed through the night like shatter of glass. These girls, Oprah's beloved, took pleasure in tearing down the black community and their proud mother never intervened to correct their actions. It seemed that their sole purpose in life was to inflict pain upon black people and they executed this mission with ruthless efficiency. Driven by her quenchless thirst for wealth and fame, Oprah willingly sacrificed her integrity and her heritage, forsaking her bloodline and Black identity in exchange for her desires and needs. Upon awakening, the luring presence of Oprah and her white daughter's hatred haunted my thoughts. In the dream, Oprah's transformation into a witch, her mastery over fame and influence, and her sinister acts against her own community painted a chilling picture of darkness. In her, I saw greed, power, and a soul corrupted beyond redemption. I asked the Most High who the two Caucasian young ladies were, and upon request, the Most High revealed that they were two spirits emanating from Oprah. These two spirits were assumed unwillingly doing her oath in pack wherein she believed she was gaining spiritual assistance for success and wealth. However, these spirits carried legions of other harboring hatred towards people of color and humanity. By embracing these spirits, Oprah inadvertently adopted their animosity, leading her to despise her own people. Oprah is more evil than anyone can imagine. I will never buy or accept anything she's selling. She's deceitful, especially to her own people. And so the dream have come to a close. May peace and love guide you, my friends, as you keep the most high at the forefront of your lives.